Welcome back, everybody, to Old Man Admiral Dreadnoughts, Grumpy Grumpa Gaming, and this is episode four of our Italian Empire Legendary Campaign. So, uh, last episode we had a pretty quick war against the French. I ended it as quick as possible because their land army was just goddamn trouncing us. And we did end up with a high enough cor uh, war score to take Corsica from them. So we are slowly turning the uh, Med into an Italian leg, though. We are sharing it with the French and the Austrians still, but we'll take care of that. Uh, we also did manage to take southern Spain. Germany took western Spain, and Spain reformed into northern Spain. And Portugal does still exist. So, I'm not sure what my next war is going to be against. I'm pretty sure it's going to be against either the British or the Austrians. Where are we? Well, logistics went up to 20%. Our next war is going to be against the Japanese, apparently, and I have. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was pushing for a war with them because they control Palestine. That's right. In this world, Japan has a province on the Mediterranean. Oh, yeah, we have to go take that from them. That's right. I totally forgot about that. But uh, it's also 1905, so it's uh, time to go into the 1905 refits. All right, so this will be the third refit for the Afogado class of destroyers. Or torpedo boats, my bad. So the Sicilians already reserved, uh, already received their third refit, so that ship design has been deleted out, basically as it's going out of usefulness. I'm not really sure what all we can upgrade here. Probably not much. That's it, I'll take that. Turrets, okay. 17 inch torpedo tubes. I'm not going to give it mine sweeping capabilities. And we'll increase the length on those two inches. And that's about all we can do to her, but 494, 500 tons, I'll take it. And now the uh, Robert Yada class gets its first refit. Once again, we're not doing much to this at all. Actually, I haven't even built... I don't even think I've built any of these yet. Because uh, it's basically the same thing as the Afogado. Just a little bit heavier. Got ballistic. Acid. Turrets. 792 of 800. Do have the four inches on here. Let's just increase the length on those. 793 of 800. Can I get more range out of that? Nope, a little too heavy. All right. Because that's uh, just too much fuel for it. I doubt. Now, 793 of 800. I'm not going to get another mod out of this, am I? Oh, no. <laughs> Didn't think so. All right. 793 of 800 tons. We'll roll with that. All right, now we get to design our first destroyer. Should have done one during the last refit, except I was having tonnage issues. I didn't get it done. Build up to 950. All right. And this will be my absolute favorite dessert, the cannoli. I'm not making a joke. That's actually my absolute favorite dessert in the world. Nothing tastes better than a cannoli. Need to speed at 34 knots out of this hole. Drop that range down. All right. Let's see what we can do to you. Again, this is not going to be a very good <laughs> design. I'm not going for good, I'm going for okay. I got five inches on her. Apparently I can. So they don't have those, uh, one thing I ran into when, uh, 
one of my other campaigns. So I'm playing a little bit of a seal clubbing campaign just because, and the Americans, I'm playing an American campaign just to go seal clubbing. Just why not? And the Americans, their guns have full around shields. So they're like, they're hard to actually place on ships. It's annoying as all hell. Dually launcher. Uh, has us way overweight, but let's see what we can get her down to once we start putting the uh, newer stuff on there. I may just have to reduce the five inch guns. Yep. The bomber does not do enough. Stereoscopic rangefinder. Okay, 1,232 and 950. Let's reduce the... You know what? We can go down the single launchers on the torpedoes. So, the day of my swift boat's attacks are quickly coming to an end. Let's reduce these fives. Threes are still good in this time period. Still has us overweight. Let's reduce speed. 32 knots. There we go. 33 maybe. Nope. 32 knots it is. That's fine. The next refit, we should be able to get more speed out of it. That's 939 to 950. Let's bring the guns back. No, I should stick with the three inches and see if I can't get the dual launchers back on there. Too much. How about a dual launcher and a single? Still too much, okay. So it's going to be singles. That's fine. I think that'll work. Not the best design in the world, but she'll do what I need her to. Basically, that's clear mines now. I'm not expecting them. They're going to lay mines in clear mines, but uh, I'm not expecting them to do too much in a battle. So I think we'll roll with that. And I'm only going to build 10 of these. Five each go to each fleet. And I'm going to start parsing our torpedo boats out to all the uh, different ports. And before I forget, actually, I had a request for a torpedo boat to be named the uh, Piccolo. But uh, I'm going to name one of the new destroyers, Zach. The, the torpedo boats are eventually all going to go away. I'm going to slowly start uh, decommissioning them. This one, so the second destroyer of the class will be the Piccolo. All right, I almost forgot about that. And we do have a CL that's also going to be renamed, and that is going to be the Saga. All right. Now, the Roma gets its third and final refit. These have done some good work for me so far. I dropped about 30 tons off the bat. Bulkheads in her now. Ooh, might be coming close to making her overweight. No mind. So three thousand nine eighty one of four thousand tons. All right. Let's increase her main belt. 
We got a two five on the main belt. Brought some nope, can't even add onto the main deck. And we already got max range on her. If I had another knot of speed, we'll definitely go over weight. So I think this will work for her. We'll roll with that. All right, now the Milano class gets its first refit. I really dislike these armored cruisers, but we're stuck with them. Almost dropped 100 tons off the bat. That's good. And quickly piling the weight back on. There we go. Very quickly put the weight back on her. Wow. Stereoscopic rangefinder. 4,928. Can I get more belt armor on her? Wrenches of belt. Let's add some of the main deck at that. Oh, 4,999 to 5,000. Hit it right on the money, basically. All right, we'll roll with it. All right, so we now get to design ourselves a new light cruiser, which is basically just going to be a heavier version of what we already have in the Milano class as we haven't really opened up any new options yet. So we'll go with the semi-armored cruiser hull again. And we can make these up to 6,500 tons. Not a big difference. This will be the Torin class, going with our naming convention of Italian cities. 21 knots of speed. Let's drop that range down for a second. Single set of dual large. I think so. That should be more than enough for her. Seven inch guns. I'm gonna drop that back a bit. Forward firing arc on these ships is not that great. Which casemates? is a hundred and some percent nice we'll see what happens once we add all the armor on max he shells okay starting to fall behind on the technology and I'm a little worried about that Four thousand nine eighty nine to sixty five hundred. Let's go three inch on the belt, one inch all around on the rest of it. Let's get our Citadel armor. Five thousand five seventy two sixty five hundred max range. Spacious quarters. Nope, that'll put us overweight. But I want the spacious quarters. 69 tons overweight. That's actually not bad. Let's drop that down. 6,345 to 6,500. I'll take that. Definitely not adding another amount of speed onto her. So we just increase the armor. 
bring the belt up as much as we can. Pitch and roll on the ship is not bad at all. Three point seven main belt, one inch all around, six thousand four hundred eighty six or five six five hundred tons, and pitch and roll are almost fully under control. That's actually the next refit should see that completely fixed. So we'll definitely roll with this one. All right, now the heavy cruiser Poe River class gets its first refit. Wait, we can drop off of you and get some more armor on you. Maybe some more range while we're at it. Thousand three fifty two of eighty five hundred. I get some more range onto you. Nope. Not saving too much weight. All right, let's add some more armor on. Four point nine inch main belt, eight thousand four ninety seven, eighty five hundred. We'll roll with that. All right, now to, to design another heavy cruiser, and we do have Armored Cruiser 3, same design. All right. Drop that range down real fast, and this is gonna be the Arno River class. This will get us Optimal speed, 16 knots. All right, roll with 17 for right now. Once again, these cute minimalistic towers, you gotta love them. That funnel does not even fit on there, but uh, <laughs> they don't fit on that damn thing, but the game says it'll work, I'll take it. <laughs> oh, good God. The stuff this game lets you do sometimes. All right, 11 inch guns. Get them on there. Well, let me increase the beam all the way. Actually, I forgot to change the weight. How much can we get up to? Go up to 9,000, okay. Only 500 tons heavier than our last class. Secondaries, old casemates. I want the four inchers. Torpedoes. Once again, the torpedoes on the heavy cruisers are more of a self-defense thing than anything else. Stereoscopic finder. I wish I had something better than stereoscopic. I, think I usually do it this time period. 6,500 9,000. All right. 
Suspicious quarters, maximum range. 8,000, 11, 9,000 tons. Let's give her 18 knots of speed. 8,226, all right. One inch around with all the armor. Max out the inner deck. All right, now let's increase her belt up. Oh, forgot to extend the length on the four inchers. I want them to reach out and touch those uh, escorts. Any extra point is going to go just a little overweight. 8,982 and 9,000 tons. Pitch and roller well under control. We got 300% engine efficiency or just under. Oof. So she can get up and go if she wants to. Not very quickly, but she can uh, get those engines fired up pretty quick. I think we'll roll with this. All right, we now get to design our first battleship. We do have a few designs to pick from here. I do not want to use that, do I? How much weight can I give her? It goes up to 17. It goes up to 15, 5, 17, 15, 5. Uh, that goes 16, 750. So this is the heaviest hull I can use right here at 17,000 ton. Oh, God. It's an armored cruiser. Just. Oh. Oh. But that small semi dread not Oh dear god no. Hell no, no, no. Battleship two, you look like a goddamn armored cruiser hole. Yep. Yeah, semi dreadnought. All form 75, 55, 70. Much better floatability, 65 resistance. I think we run with this hull just because I don't want my battleships to look like a goddamn armored cruiser. Then she has better floatability, so if she does take hits, she's not going to sink as fast, hopefully. These big as, yeah. All right, so this will be the Caesar class. I'll be making two of these. The Caesar and the Augustus, one to each fleet. 24 knots optimal speed. Okay, that's much better than my heavy cruiser. Drop that range down. I put a lot of guns on this thing. What can I do? I can do 13s. How does that fit on there? I'm not asking questions. Actually, let me increase the beam on this. Maybe it'll make it look better in my eyes. Ooh, and that allow me to increase the tonnage on it also. Okay. Now, why aren't you going to sit? No, you're good. You're good. You can sit. Right, side guns. What can I fit in there? Tens? If it says I can fit tens, I'm putting tens. Nope, that's not gonna fit. Maybe nines. I don't want too many different. Let's turn you. That's what I should have done. Why didn't that one turn? Okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay. 
be a little more. And then the other two are. The game says I can do it. I'm goddamn doing it. Actually, this is going to be nine inch all around on all of her guns. So she's actually going to have. You know what? Let me see if I can get the 10s on here. Actually, can I get 11s on there? No, that's asking too much. Okay, 10s. Yeah, they can crossfire over each other. That's good. What the hell happened there? The game says it'll work. I'm rolling with it. And you know what? I might as well go with the 13 center lines. I don't understand how that fits up there, but it says it fits it going with it. <laughs> I don't care. I probably should go tens all around, though. This looks fun, though. This looks fun. That tower, no, that tower does not interfere. Very good. I think I casemates on the towers, yeah. And those are there just to take on anything small that comes near us. I can't put these anywhere else on the ship. No. Okay. Oh, we are way overweight. <laughs> oh God. We'll make it work. We'll we'll make it work. I'm going with this design, hell or high water. We will make it work. I think she's going to be a glass cannon, but, uh, there we go. We still have to add everything else on. Everybody can hate me all they want for this design. I will take it. I may have to drop these down to nines. I don't think I'll be able to take enough armor off the turrets to get her underweight. Maybe I can. Thousand five Yeah, we're going to drop the turret armor down to 10 inches, I think. That did not drop us a lot of weight at all. What can they pen? Four and a half inches at 22,000 meters, 13 inches at 1,000 meters, but we shouldn't be closing that close in. I already got them down to 10. Let's drop these down to eight. I think that's a safe bet. 18,957, still a little overweight. Yeah, we can make her a little slower. There we go. 17,705. Then armor the belt up. Thirteen inch belt. And I didn't put a funnel on yet. 
Oh, God. I forgot the funnels. <laughs> uh. Let's get rid of that funnel since it interferes with the twos. No, I want to get rid of the funnel, not the two inches. Okay, this is a really weird design. Can I put this funnel up there? Yes, that looks better. Four weights at 54%. Let's drop that back. Four weight at 6.8%. Okay. All right. That's much, much better. Engine efficiency sucks. I really need a third funnel on here. Give her some main deck armor. Eighteen thousand four hundred, eighteen thousand four hundred five. Let's see if the game lets me build it, since I'm actually overweight on the whole design. We'll see if it actually lets me do it. And the game actually let me build them. So we have the Caesar and the Augustus, and they're only going to take sixteen months each to build, which I really like. Uh, the new heavy cruiser is twelve months, and the light cruiser is eleven months. So. uh I'm actually going to pump these out pretty quickly. Send these boys to Naples. All new ship builds go to Naples, and I farm them out from there. Seven months on to destroyers. Never anything else that's refitting is going to take one month to refit. I like that. So I wonder if I can hold the Japanese off for one year at least. Get my economy back up. We're growing at 6.8% right now, which is actually not that bad. Center party government GDP growth minus 5%. All that it's helpful. And why is my tech budget only at 91%? I did have to drop it at one point. That's right. Okay. I'm going to see if I can hold off the Japanese for at least a year and then, uh, Start telling them manga sucks and go to war with them. I'll be back. All right, it's now October of 1906, and we are now at war with Japan. So we do have, they had one heavy cruiser stationed at uh, Haifa, which we've just engaged with our uh, fleet out of La Spezia. And my second fleet is joining it all, so I moved both my fleets off the coast of Palestine here to try and hopefully have enough tonnage in the region to start uh, landing against it. So I basically want to jump in, take over Palestine. Hopefully that'll give us a war score, which the Japanese will back out of the war from. So uh, I'm going to take on this heavy cruiser. It should not be a long engagement unless my ships don't hit nothing, which is a very strong possibility. All right, it's taken us a while to catch up to this ship, and we're doing it very slowly. As, uh, she's actively running away from us, and I put everything to one division so it doesn't have a very high speed. Uh, crap. What is my fastest ships here? Probably Venezia. But, uh, I have a feeling this is gonna take a while. If this shot lands. Right, no, that's way over. Way, way over. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is just not a fight I'm going to be showing. So, uh, I'll come back in once I actually sink this thing if I can. 
I have finally caught up to this heavy cruiser. And <laughs> it has taken me forever. I was really I really wanted my battleship to finish her off. And we were just not landing any hits on her. So I just I finally detached my destroyers into a separate battle group and now we're going after her and torpedoing her under if we can. This is not this thing's just got a very odd design to it. It's a heavy cruiser, but her main batteries are two single six-inch guns. It's kind of an odd choice in my book, but hey, that's what they want to roll with. Let's close in, and hopefully we don't take too much fire. These destroyers are brand new. I don't need to start losing them right off the bat. I need them to prove themselves. Uh, they've been selling very well on the international market, along with my battleship, as much as I dislike it right now, it's sold very well, too. Hopefully I don't take any friendly fire hits, but they should stop firing now. Maybe not. And you are armed with torpedoes. And our three inches are actually penning this thing. Fish in the water and break away from her before we get torped in return. There it is. Of course, she turned quick enough to avoid our torpedoes. threes are doing quite a bit of damage to her. And she's going to avoid those also, amazingly. Domito, what the hell are you doing? Turn away. And there go those torps right past her. Namito, smoke up. Actually cover our approach. Alright, pick a load, it's on you. side with her armed torpedoes now. Get your fish in the water so we can turn away. Here comes hers. We're about to eat those. Can't do nothing about it. Oh, and it was a dud. Yep, one of them was. Look at that. She How the hell she turned fast enough to avoid my torpedoes? Look at that. 
This is something I'm getting sick of in this game. I swear, since the last update, they've been turning away faster and faster from our torps. Like, you can't hit them anymore. Both of you just give me an aggressive launch. You can't hit nothing with torpedoes anymore. Theirs will hit you with no problem, but you can't hit them at all. These two might actually hit. Domito, you get the hell out. That'd be your almost rearmed, so coming back in again. Oh, those are actually going to hit. Of course they were both duds. Of course they were both duds. Of course. We're actually hitting her now. So the good thing is our destroyer run slowed her down with all the turning. Take a low, get the hell out. There she goes, finally. And she's worth only 6,000 points. All that trouble for 6,000 points. How much was she worth? 39 million. We probably spent that much in ammunition firing at her. Jeez. Alright, it's November of 1906 and the Japanese have moved a full-on battle fleet into our region. Uh, and they're right where we are landing with the invasion. So they're attack this is the caesar so this is the la spezia fleet the other fleet was actually the Masao fleet from the last uh battle if you can call that a battle so uh yeah we're gonna go jump into this one and hopefully it's uh not too much of a bloodbath for us we started the engagement against the japanese fleet here and they do have a lot in water Four stack destroyer. These guys out ahead scouting. I set two of my uh, destroyers to screen us and two to scout for, uh, three to scout for us. And I put the uh, battleship, light cruisers, and heavy cruisers into a battle line. See if our destroyers actually uh, properly screen because they've been attempting to do that since the update. And when I set them to screen, they tend to fly into the middle of the enemy fleet. Like these three are supposed to be scouting, but they're heading towards the enemy now. That's a lot of guns. I think I should have put everything at 10 inches instead of the 13s and 10s, just so there's no splash interference. I think it was a mistake on my part doing all th putting the two 13s on. And this hole's fine because look, these 10s don't even really sit on the hole either. They're hanging off of it. Hopefully these destroyers don't get themselves in too much trouble. Look at that, they're messing up my battle line. Worry about those destroyers, let ours play with them. Plus our escorts will uh, go after them too. Uh, 
I don't think they're gonna closing enough to be an issue. Their destroyers are doing their job. Anybody's hitting each other either. Is their battleship? Yes, it is. Where's that at? These two are in division, so these are the battleship. So, not heavily armed, though. Seems like the Japanese ships tend to be undergunned. And I definitely need to open up something better than stereoscopic range finders. This is. Ooh! Beautiful hit out there. Looks like a newer destroyer, so hopefully she's worth something. Man, she just torqued out. We'll mine a void. Get another launcher. She's got a duel and two singles on her. Okay, that's pretty dangerous. She's getting her float back. Uh, you three go to screen also and help them out. Their torpedo range is, but I gotta avoid it. Their screens are busy playing with them. They're not over here. There we go. Good hit. They're destroying. I know they got some older torpedo boats in this formation also somewhere. You boys got to finish off the Okinami for us. All right, let's start turning harder. Ten degrees right. We're getting it. Definitely in torpedo range now. Hard starboard. He's got a lot of torpedoes. I don't want to deal with them. Eating those hits. Good, there she goes. Get back on course slightly. Yep. Let's take down that one next. Need to eat up all these screens before we get to the main course. Good 
least our crews should get some good training out of this. Triple stack, too. They put a lot of stacks on their ships. Um, like you should, but I don't. There goes the Yukaze. Focus down to Mikazuki, please. Guys are still playing with these destroyers. Doing some damage to them. Ooh, Augustino. Detach you and have you retreat out. It's like she ate a twerp. Get rid of these escorts. Want to go focus on those battleships. They're the money. The hell type of salvo was that? Jeez. That was just all over the place. That was worse than a shotgun blast. Come on, you boys can aim better than that. You're a trained crew. Show us that you're trained. Everybody's focused on that one destroyer and nobody's hitting. Oh, 
There's a hit. That looked like it came out of one of the heavy cruisers. Why did my aim drop to 2%? Are you kidding me? That over 20% solution it just dropped to 2. I thought that rant and I thought that shot was going to the Ashi. What the hell happened to my aim? Oh god, I hate this design. But she's tonnage, we needed tonnage. Shift the mains back towards the battleship and leave the secondaries on that destroyer. Look, front. You're supposed to be retreating, but you still in the area. What the hell? Just ate that. We do that to. Ooh. Alright, Ardito. Let's get you the hell out of there. Looks like you're going down. Yeah, we're gonna lose the Ardito. You guys are coming back in again. There goes Mikazuki, finally. Get the hell out of there. Losing the frame rate here.
just scratched our paint. Is the Ardito gonna survive this? She might. No, no, she's about to drop on her. And that was a dud, damn it. She's gonna drop on her or ram her? Probably both. Why are your threes not firing? And we're gonna eat that. Two of them. Even our auxiliary engines are gone now. Get my Ardito. Cause he's coming in for a run again. Alright, secondaries hit her, please. We need her away. Diver, what are you aiming at? Yeah, fire at her, Arno. Fire at the Ottawa. Ottawa, Ottawa, Ottawa. Just wasted those torpedo shots. Nothing's hitting right now. Well, there goes your toe. I'm a little surprised by that. Diver, please sink that thing. Actually, Jimmy Kazi's almost finished. Focus on the Tabo. No, very focused there, but shift your focus over to Zubikaku.
coming in on a torque run, it feels like. Ooh, good hit on the battleship. I wish all those shots had hit. That would have been a massive broadside into that light cruiser. And right. right rudder. She's coming in on a run. Our torp is out. Not it's going to hit anything though, but it's out. Seven percent chance hit with the thirteens. We should broadside the hell out of her if we're lucky. Boom! Oh, that just evaporated her. At the tone. What a tone, eh? That was beautiful. Now it feels like we're getting something done. Now if our destroyers can actually just do some damage to the uh, other destroyers. I gotta finish playing with their food. Tens have a 100% chance of hitting, so next broadside should put the tone down to the bottom. There she goes. Right, focus on the Hashidate. You have torpedoes. No, you don't. I'm not worried about you. But, uh, Torin, focus on her, please. Torin, San Jacinto. And Arkham Knight. Take out that destroyer. Hit that thing, it's right on top of you. She has no torpedoes. Is she going for a ramming run? I got no idea. The cannoli ate a torpedo for no damn good reason. you guys out of this fight. Just get out of the way, please.
Boom! Another one evaporated. How the hell that destroyer survived its run it just made is beyond me. He's almost finished. There she goes. Finish her off, but damn close. You say a lot of structural damage. Tiber, focus on the Katori, please. He's coming on a run. Kuma. And now we're on top of each other. It's just ripped them apart. Torpedo boats have torpedoes? They do. Each. I don't think they've engaged yet. That's a Katori. So this should be going any second now. There she goes. Evaporation, baby. Shimushu, I need her gone before I can close on the battleships. I think everybody's firing at her right now. There's a Shimushu. Right, let's start turning in. that distance back on the battleships. I know there's a heavy cruiser back there somewhere too, we just don't have her sighted. I didn't check the Japanese fleet numbers before this battle, but I don't think they have a large fleet either. this distance in. I 
Why the hell's my frame rate so low? Boys had your chance to run and you did not take it. It's time to go down. Tabo Rizumi Kaku. Then I'll chase down the rest of the escorts. I'll do that off screen because that might take a minute. But then again, there's another heavy cruiser out there somewhere, unless you went down. Pretty sure there's another one back here. But she might be running. There she is. My 13's just switched over to her. That's fine. As long as the 10 stay on the uh, Zuikaku, I'm happy with that. Thirteens are still on her. Maybe it's my uh, port side tens. Yeah, it's my port side tens. I got her aimed on. Okay. Send them all my destroyers. No, stay focused on Zuikaku, please. For this world. Slowed down too much torpedo went forward of her. Goodbye. I'm gonna hunt down the rest of these escorts over the screen because this just might take a while. All right, it took me another half hour, but uh, finally finished off the Japanese, except for two destroyers which got away. They did retreat out of the battle. I just wasn't catching up to them. And uh, I'd actually thought there was only one heavy cruiser left, but both heavy cruisers were left. So that was an interesting little scuffle because they still had escorting destroyers with torpedoes I had to avoid. But uh, we took down two battleships, the Tebo and the Zuikaku, the two heavy cruisers, Kimpo and Cannon, eight light cruisers, Katori, Otoa, Unebi, Jinsu, Tatsuta, Ton, Kuma, and Hashidate. And this destroyer, which I never identified, is heavily damaged and got away. And this one, which we never identified, <laughs> got away also. So they never really got within distance of us identifying them. 
Oh no, we got 62,764 victory points out of that to their 1,274 for taking down my one destroyer. And they lost over 7,000 crew in that fight. All right, we have begun the invasion of Palestine. That's going to take uh, three more turns after this one. And apparently we did some heavy damage to the Japanese fleet because we sank more than half of it. Uh, we took down their only two battleships. And only have two heavy cruisers, six light cruisers, seven destroyers, and nine torpedo boats left. So I'm hoping they requested a peace. I said no. Hopefully my government doesn't do something stupid and go with a peace before we take Palestine. Because I want to get them full amount of money of reparations out of the war. Because we could use some money. We have $2 billion, but we're spending $55 million a month. Because we are building a bunch of ships. So, there is that. So, we'll keep this uh, episode rolling along. Hopefully, we'll have this in a piece with Japan by the end of the episode. Alright, we have ourselves another fleet action here. Uh, we did just take uh, Palestine, and the Japanese sent half of their remaining fleet to engage us. So they sent the one of their two heavy cruisers, three of their six light cruisers, and half their uh, escorts of destroyers and torpedo boats they had left. So uh, we're going to jump into this one, finish off the Japanese fleet, and then uh, hopefully peace out after that and uh, see how much money we can get out of this war. All right, we have just started engaging the Japanese fleet. As you can see, we're in some very, very terrible weather here. So uh, accuracy is going to be way down. The uh, good thing is all of my my three capital ships and the three escorts all have veteran crews now, which will make it easier for us to hit stuff. We did not get a full reload on torpedoes. And my destroyers are seasoned, trained, Veterans and seasoned. I thought they would have gotten better than that, but apparently not. And I have them scouting right now. Now we have the uh, fleet spot. I should put them on screen. And they are low fuel, so it shouldn't make them easier to hit. That's a torpedo boat. That's there. One of their six inch gun heavy cruisers. In the uh, last battle, it was actually seven inch gun heavy cruisers. Basically, makes them one of my lights. I thought I had bad ship designs until I saw the Japanese fleet. Turn to the outside of the smoke, don't need them coming in torpedo range. Boom! Torpedo boats and destroyers just eat damage. It's amazing. I know you don't want them too squishy for gameplay purposes, but at the same time, it's uh, they shouldn't be eating the damage they do. Well, let's sail in between the two groups. I can fire in both directions. I'll risk the torpedo hits. I don't want to spend forever fighting them. in 14 knots because of this weather. That's not good. At least I'm not low fuel like the Japanese are, but it's going to make me a very easy target for torpedoes, just like that. I 
There's that actually going to hit? Nope, they avoided it. Of course they goddamn avoided it. You gotta be kidding me. Finish off that heavy cruiser, please. I just got pissed off. Ooh, that was a big hit. Selling in between the two of these groups was not the best idea in the world. You know, none of our torpedoes are going to hit nothing. Where the hell are their light cruisers? Probably back here in this smoke screen. Look, Kazi, didn't I sink you in the last battle? I might lose to Caesar. Ooh. Get you out of here. The Arno's taking a hit. Yeah, we're gonna lose to Caesar. Yeah, it was a bad idea on my part. I think it was going to happen no matter what, because we're moving so slow. There's just no way to... We can't avoid torpedoes the way they do. So... With our current speed, there's no helping it. I mean, 14 knots. That's the best we can do. Alright. Let's go sink the rest of these. We'll give the Japanese a small victory with taking down the uh, battleship, but uh, let's detach you. Get you out of here. Diver, take the lead. Veteran crew battleship, and I just lost it. Ugh. cruisers. And the Arno launched a torpedo that almost hit us. Oh, here comes my destroyer screen. Where the hell have you boys been hiding? Now you're making a suicide run, really? Now they're just in the way. Get the hell out of the way, please.
are we not firing? Here we go. Destroyers did amazing work for me last battle, not this battle. And we hit her with three torpedoes and they all were duds. Look at that. Sending my light cruiser off course. Oh. go down. distance on these last two and finish this off. I am so angry right now. Hit them, damn it. I'm gonna goddamn fire every single one of you all. And they're running. Start flooding her. I want her gone. about the torpedo boat. Hit the light cruiser, damn it. The hell? See that visual glitch right there? <laughs> Just lost sight of her. We're not gonna catch up. All right, let's finish off this torpedo boat. All right, we'll let her get away. We're not gonna catch up to her at 14 knots. Alright, so uh, we earned 15,767 points out of that battle, but they got 20,379 just for sinking that one battleship. But we have effectively destroyed the remainder of the Japanese fleet. I think they only have the one heavy cruiser, three light cruisers, and a number of uh, destroyers and torpedo boats left. This is basically like half of what was left. Ugh, I'm so angry right now. Battleship with a veteran crew, and I lose it. 
thinking no matter what, I would think I was going to lose her. Even if I'd gone around the outside of that smoke screen, I think I would have just eaten too many torpedoes. That 14 knots of headway we were making was just disgusting. There's no way we were avoiding any of those. We can't make those sharp turns like the uh, AI does. So, it is what it is. Can't win every battle without losing something. All right. Save 23 of the crewmen at least. I'll buy off of goggles. I'll sell those to you. And we got to build a new battleship. Naples, and this one's going to be called, hold on, I think Tiberius is next on the list, I'm looking for it. Yeah, Tiberius is next. Okay. Yeah, 16 month build time, not too bad. I'm just kind of, like I said, I'm pissed off that uh, I did a loser. And the Tanat is commissioning. So I also got to build another heavy cruiser. This will be the Oglio. All right. Let's see if we can't get a piece with the Japanese going. All right, it took me another year, a full year in game, for the Japanese to finally come to the peace table. And we've just been tit for tatting each other. Basically, I've been running out my torpedo boats to uh, attack anything they've been sending into the med. And I had 50 torpedo boats that started this episode. I'm down to 38. So uh, we've been wearing down their ships. They've been wearing down mine. But uh, I haven't lost any more big capital boats. But I did get our war score over 100,000. And theirs remained at 24,000. There is that. And there's Borneo and Sarawak. I don't want any. I don't want either one of these. I don't have any ambitions out in the Pacific for right now. And I don't want to expend anything on protecting shipping out. So we'll take the 584 million in war reparations. It'd be nice if it was higher. But I'll take it. And I'm surprised it took them so long to go to peace because their GDP is actually at a negative right now. It's actually shrinking by 1.4% a year. 0.12% per month. And they're building a ton of ships. Where do they get the money for? I mean, I don't know where they got the money for building ships, but they are building ships. So they quickly replaced what we did sink. But uh, thankfully, that war is finally over. And we're actually invading, uh, almost completed it, uh, Cyrenaica. So we'll have uh, the ports of Benghazi and Tobruk soon. And who's our war next war? Gonna, hopefully, we can stay at peace at least for another year. And Because our growth, we've stayed at war for so long, we went from a 6% growth to 1.34% growth. So I need to get that back up and repair my GDP. 
Yeah, we're at negative 87 million a month right now. I really need to repair my GDP. <laughs> Let's get you guys back into port. Let's put everything at fleet in being. I don't make much of a difference, but I'll make a little bit of a difference. I have 83 million a month now. Okay. And I was keeping my older light cruisers instead of decommissioning them. I may have to start decommissioning them and mothballing them off again. I was keeping the light cruisers and I was putting one in every port to give me some extra uh, strike capabilities at enemy shipping, but I may not be able to do that. Even though they don't cost as much as the new cruisers, I may have to mothball them and sell them just to save the money. But we'll see as our GDP recovers. It's Palestine. Palestine is only worth $500 million. But it'll help. Seven Hick is only worth two hundred thirty-one million. Mm. Yeah, big moves are being made in uh, Africa right now, especially by Germany. They've taken a good chunk of the center of it. The rest of us are fighting around the outs. And Russia holds Madagascar. Really? I should probably go to war with them next to take Madagascar. I don't share a land border with them, so I don't have to worry about their army. Hmm. How do we look with them right now? We have 38. I can get a war going, but looks like we're going to war with the British again pretty soon. That's not good. That's not good. Our army logistics are 45%. Theirs is at 100%, of course. So I'd have to quickly finish a war with them. They have 118 ships in their fleet. 15 battleships, 22 heavy cruisers. Mm. And their technology is definitely going to be better than ours. Uh, I'm not even working on my shipyards right now just to save the money. Otherwise, we'd be spending more than that. Now, that's a problem for next episode. So, uh... Once again, if you're a new view, return view, if you're not yet subscribed, please hang behind that subscribe button. If you do, remember that bell icon so the next video comes out. Follow along the series and join it. Don't forget to drop an AP shell into that like button, an HE shell into that uh, comment section. Get the algorithm working in our favor. And I will see you all at the next episode. Stay grumpy.